It's the new birth when you come to when you come to Marquette. I mean, it's everyone has a feeling about um, their first time there. I went and got a job at the cafeteria uh, at um, at McCormick. So the thing that was really cool was because I got a scholarship, I got to eat for free. So I didn't need a meal pass second semester, which saved money. And um, that was that was cool. That was my that was my first job there. I have many stories. I don't even think it was a mixer. I think it was just all guys from McCormick. They had a phone booth, and so they had this thing to see how many people you could cram into the phone booth. And I remember I was in the bottom, and I was like a base which was fine until it just got it's the most scary uncomfortable i've ever been in my entire life and people were chanting like you can hear all the stuff so down below at the mug rack that's where we would have dances and stuff and i remember they had a dance within the first within our first week of school and it was um one of the black fraternities sororities had a dance and they had a band and i remember just going dude this band is cooking and nobody's dancing so i remember i got up and there was some pretty girl i don't know who she was and i asked if she wanted to dance and she said yeah and we all started dancing and it just started this big thing i was that guy mccormick's the most iconic building on campus um it's gonna be it'll definitely be weird for any alumni that doesn't know that it's gone and to walk on campus and not see it this just going to be, it's just going to be oddity. I mean, it's an oddity for so many things. It's a round building. How many round buildings have you seen? How many round buildings have you lived in? That, that building's iconic. I mean, you lived in a, a slice of pizza. When you think about it, you lived in a slice of pizza. That's what you lived in.